Hi, I'm Kane Harrison from Evolving Construction. I run a high-end custom home building company on Central Coast, New South Wales. We believe in an ethical and environmental approach. I definitely have a real passion and drive for creating the most beautiful and luxurious homes in Australia. My belief is that a professional will not only resolve the issues that arise, but will ultimately provide the client with a better outcome than they were initially presented or expected. The rewards of winning the NBA House of the Year for this home is just a fantastic recognition of all the hard work that we put in. We put a lot of heart and soul into our builds. And it's, yeah, it's a fantastic result to, to have an award at the end of the day. The house is a four bedroom, four bathroom home uh, with around about 650 GFA ground floor area. So the brief from the client was about providing a low maintenance home that didn't sacrifice on its quality and its design intent. The logical way to achieve this is to use natural materials, providing that texture and that, that real character, that feel client's looking for, but is also able to age and patina over time. And ultimately, I think we've, we've hit the low maintenance, textural, sustainable brief that we were asked to. We worked quite hard on a, um, on a structural steel skeleton that would be stiff enough to have a huge amounts of glazing throughout so that we can open up this home to nature and, and really feel the, the energy and, and, and soul of the place. We used the Shushugi Barn charred timber technique throughout the home, from screening to columns, gates to cladding. Burning the timber it provides rot, termite, bushfire resistance, and is a centuries old Japanese technique. Not only does it give it longevity and preservatives without chemicals, it also looks fantastic. The grey arm bar cladding was chosen for its ability to withstand the marine environment and the harsh environment that it is in, but to also grey off over time. So we chose Herford's Cooley cladding a profile for this house. We worked with Herford's on a rough sawn off the mill finish, but still tongue and groove. We come to this, this outcome probably from more conversation with my account managers from Dalsons and looking at all the profiles on the market and seeing what we, uh, we felt would suit one, the environment and two, its performance requirements as well. My Dalsons account manager has been fantastic. We worked at length to get the right products. Yeah, it's been a fantastic collaboration with Dalsons. So not only is it supply of materials that Dalsons helps out with, but making great decisions on what materials to use has been a huge part of our ongoing relationship. We need to work with readily available materials or source them and mill them like our timber cladding. Our ethical approach as humans should be not just looked at as minimising what large amounts of chemicals or processes that we've presumably used in the past and reducing that. Let's just cut them all together to figure out a better way. And interestingly, nature gives us a lot of these answers. The greying off of the timber, the burning of the timber. We don't have to compromise on our design or aesthetic appeal we can actually probably, I believe, achieve a better higher end finish by letting nature take its corpse.